Hi, Lonnie Vaughn with Emotiva Audio here. Going to give you a tech tip today on how to diagnose when you've got a channel on your system that's not playing. And you want to figure out where the problem is and what do you need to do to solve it. It's actually one of the most common questions that we get all the time. So I thought I'd do a little tutorial here. We actually made up a little checklist for you guys, which you can download in the link attached to the video. Real straightforward, four-step process. You'll know exactly where the problem is. So let's say hypothetically that speaker is not playing. This one is. Now this is, a, I got this set up as a two channel rig. It doesn't matter if it's two channels or 200 channels. The process is the same to figure out which one and where the problem is. Start with, first thing, always. I don't care how long this system's been working, how, you know, what, what condition it's in, how much you spend on your, on, air, on your gear, the whole bit, things happen. So let's start at the very basics first and move through it. Step one, check your connections. Always unplug and reconnect all of your connections. Don't short this one. This, this particular step is extremely important because if you go, oh, you know, I've had this in there forever. It's worked great. Doesn't matter. Things happen for whatever reason. So always unplug all of your connections and plug them back in. Turn the system on. Does it work? If it does, congratulations, you're done. It was just a bad connection. Now let's say it doesn't. The very next step, and like I said, it doesn't matter how many speakers you got, there's usually a matching pair. So let's say, hypothetically, this one's not working. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take this right at the amp, because it's a real pain in the butt to do this anywhere else. And I'm going to swap right and left. All right, so you reversed them at the amp. All right, now you turn the system back on. Is this speaker playing? If it is, okay, now we've established that our speaker wires and our speaker is good. If it's not playing, now we know, very simply, it's either in the wire or the speaker itself and you need to get that resolved. And the easiest way to do that, just disconnect the wires from the speaker, hook the wires up to another speaker, and you'll know. But that solves that problem very quickly. Now let's say this does play. All right, turn the system off, put these back where they were. Turn the system back on. Still not playing? All right. Now we know that somewhere along this line, something's not right. Turn it back off. And now we're going to do the inputs. Swap your right and left inputs. And turn the system back on. Is this playing? If it's playing, then that means that from here through the amp, everything's golden. If it's not playing, then that means that there's a channel inside the amp, obviously this channel, that has, for whatever reason, gone bad. You need to get the amp serviced. But let's say it does play. What's the next step? Turn the system back off. Put these back the way they were. And now we move up the chain. And that's the whole point. You're going to start at the end of the chain and move your way forward. So now you reverse that. Turn the system back on. Is this playing? If this is playing, then that means that you've got a bad cable coming out of your processor. If it's not playing, then that means that the processor itself needs to be serviced. It's as simple as that. That's all you got to do. Four steps. You can download the uh, checklist, just run it through, and you'll know real quick where your problem is and what you need to do. It's either cables, somewhere along the chain. Simple.